Today we're taking a look at which is better, spreadsheets or dedicated tools using Project Portfolio Management or PPM as an example application. Those that favour PPM tools say real-time access means better information and better decisions, and spreadsheets need high levels of expertise to manage them properly. Those that favour spreadsheets say most people already have and know how to use spreadsheets software, so spreadsheets are cheaper to implement and have a shallower learning curve than PPM tools. Also, spreadsheets are flexible. They can be quickly and simply tailored to fit the organisation's processes exactly and to evolve along the organisation's needs. I can see value and truth in both arguments. My view is, running a spreadsheet PPM system seems cheap until you think about the hidden costs of maintenance. I once created a spreadsheet PPM system for a portfolio of about 90 projects. It worked well enough, but it became slower over time and needed constant maintenance to account for unforeseen circumstances and new requirements. None of this activity had a business case. Implementing a PPM tool won't enhance your PPM capability in the same way that buying a Stradivarius won't make you a great violinist. To get the best from a Stradivarius, you need to be a great violinist already. A low maturity organisation won't be able to take full advantage of a PPM tool if the supporting mechanisms and processes aren't yet in place and working effectively. Project portfolio management can be done successfully without a PPM tool, so you don't have to have a PPM tool to implement PPM. But this approach is hard and a PPM tool could make it easier and faster if the tool and processes are aligned. The tool may also provide a useful framework to think about PPM processes. So, in conclusion, one PPM size does not fit all. I think it depends on your organisational context and what you're trying to do. PPM tools are good for organisations who have stable PPM processes and a good idea of what they want from a tool, have a relatively large project portfolio and many users, and are not expecting the tool to somehow solve all of their PPM problems. Spreadsheets are good for organisations that have relatively small project portfolios and relatively few users, don't yet know what they need from a tool or how PPM processes could work in their organisation, and that need the flexibility to change things around a lot whilst they learn how to use PPM processes and which ones fit their organisation best. So a spreadsheet approach can work just fine in the early stages of a PPM journey, but it will always be a bit flaky and should be viewed as a bridging solution for use only while you learn how to use PPM processes and not really something on which you should build a business. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and tag someone who needs to hear this.